Ah, hello. Greetings, my darling fam. So today I'm going to be doing something slightly different, whereby I will be going through Great Britain with you to look at the extraordinary accents of that place, those places in Great Britain. Very, very diverse, so please stick with me and have a jolly, a skip and a run through them and you know try to see if you can do them uh, by no means I think I'm good at them but I like to do it because I am obsessed with accents as you probably know I mention it frequently through my videos oh don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up that would be really great so it's happening already I know I know okay let's go okay so the first accent through Great Britain would be RP receive pronunciation and a lot of people through Great Britain speak this language not all but some I don't know which one to choose now people like Benedict Cumberbatch the actor or Martin Freeman would speak like this and I suppose I do to a certain degree and a lot of news presenters anchors as I think you would say in America right hello this is RVA news and it's very important that you listen to me now with my very important voice today lots of people turned off from RVA because she talked too much but the fact she was worried because they spelt two with T-O and not T-O-O -O. more about that later you've got something then called heightened RP it's very 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 much like this kind of sound well he said he loved me but he left me for someone else Ghastly man, I cannot look at him. How very dare he. I don't know, I'm so short and so tired from it all. I don't know where to lie down. It's very hard for me, you know, Jeremy. I don't understand this YouTube business. It's just so different these days. I don't remember it at all. How times have changed. You do understand. And then you got, you know, a place called London. It's like a capital or something. So, you know, like a lot of people you might hear talk like that. And it's all right because it's just another accent, isn't it? So, you know, like a Guy Ritchie film, a lot of them talk like that. Or if you watch these senders, like it's a soap opera. Like, you know, get in my pub now. Why? Because I want you to. Look at your face. I don't want to. You looking at my wife? No. My wife not good enough for you. It's just brilliant writing when you think about it. So East Anglia is a quite a flat accent. There's not much impression or inflection on the East Anglian kind of accent so that's all you get really sorry I can't I need to practice practice is so so important now we got West Country where everything's a little bit more rounded in the delivery and the expression and then he went iron of the voice <laughs> do you think of Samwise Gamgee oh no Frodo no Frodo no no and Hagrid from the Harry Potter series Hagrid Hagrid Hagrid, get off my land, I've got a big beard. Has nothing to do with being on land. And obviously in Cornwall, it's a little bit more like the pirate sound. That's very stereotypical. They're not quite like that. I actually went the other day, but anyway. Ooh, I'm a captain. And then you've got the Welsh accent, but I can only do it if I do the little Robert Downey Jr. if it sounds a little bit like that. Because it's actually very, very difficult to do. Well, what do you mean? It's like a husky kind of thing on your voice, which is actually aggravating my vocal cords. <laughs> He's still a fine specimen. Get on the boat. Have you seen that film, actually? It's quite new. Anyway, I quite liked it. Mm. From Wales. South Wales, I believe. It's a bit softer. Or it's like Gavin and Stacey. You know, I don't know if you've seen that show. Well, good, Nessa. Oh. Then you've got North Wales, where a lot of people... Um, not Tom Jones, I think he's south. But anyway, uh, <laughs> a little bit more with a huskier, softer tone, generally speaking. Um, and English is their second language. The I'm going to work on that. And then you've got Birmingham, which is a little bit more nasal in its approach, if I'm honest with you. I want chips and gravy. And obviously, Ozzy Osbourne's from there as well. Sharon! Sharon! You know, it's kind of like that if we're talking about accents. And also, it reminds me a little bit of John Bishop, who is a comedian. Although, I don't think he sounds brummy to me, and I don't know why. And don't forget, Liverpool is quite a hard accent to do. Accent. Liverpool. But don't forget, the Beatles came from there. 
Liverpool. Ugh. 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 It's actually very hard. Hard to do. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what <coughs> Then you've got Lancaster. Do you know what I mean? Where they talk like that. But it's probably not quite spot on. Because I've never actually been before. So I'm just going on what I know. Which isn't quite a lot. If I'm honest with you. But a lot of the Downton Abbey lot. Who lived downstairs would talk like that. Hey, have you got bun in oven yet or what? I ain't got all day. I've been waiting. You're rude, you are. I'll give you a slap. But I don't know. Maybe they could talk like that where they got higher pitch as well. I actually spoke to a couple of people like that before. But it's all right, you know. You get used to it. And then you've got Yorkshire, where it's a little bit more flat and steady and icy. Don't know why I said icy, but you know what I mean. And they cut off a lot of words at the end. Uh, you know, like, are you coming to the pub or what? You're coming to the pub. Tup pub, tup pub. You're coming to pub or what? A lot of people from Game Game of Thrones have speak like that. Although I've yet to see that ruddy program. I've heard it's good. Aye, aye. And of course you've got Newcastle. Why aye man? Why aye man? Newcastle. And Cheryl Cole also is from Newcastle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then you got Scotland, where everything is a little bit more soft. If you go to Edinburgh, I think of Mrs. Doubtfire. Oof, by the looks of you, the water's so cold. Look, Liddy, liposuction. Touch me again and I'll drown ya. My name, you give an eye doubt for you, do you? And don't forget Maggie Smith. She's a right great actress, isn't she? Mm. She is. Aye. And if you go to Glasgow, you got Billy Connolly. And it's a lot thicker in your accent. My grandfather was Scottish, of course, so I can see these kind of things, but I absolutely can't understand it. What he's saying, but you know, <laughs> I'm not doing the Scottish accent. I just can't really do it that well. Comment down below. And obviously, there's Lewis Capaldi. I just love him. He's a right cheeky one, isn't he? Northern Ireland, which is such a hard accent to do, but I really love it. Some people say I look like my father, but I'll try and do the Northern accent. Do you know Liam Neeson's from the I Will Hunt You? Although that's the American accent he did. Doesn't really showcase it. I'm sorry. Then you got Southern Ireland, which isn't part of the United Kingdom, but Shanita Connors from there, and I absolutely love her. Uh, nothing, I said, nothing can take away these blues. Nothing compares to you. That's a really bad impression, but at the same time, I like doing it, so what you gonna do? Hey, I think that should do you for now. Um, you can stop watching now. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I know I recently um, reacted stroke did the American accents, which I found absolutely amazing. I was enthralled and I loved every minute of that. So I thought, and you were asking me to do that. If you would like me to try other accents, please let me know. Please comment down below and I'd be happy to do it for you, darlings. Of course, I like to please and I like to aim to please, of course. And, you know, hashtag never stop singing. Hashtag be yourself and hashtag you are never alone. And, of course, if you want to work on your accents, um, impressions, and I can do more and maybe, like, we can do it together and we can study and see your voice. Of course, like, the idea of singing good is singing... With your voice without being able to manipulate I just love having fun I love songwriting and singing in my own way but I also love the world of how what happens when we manipulate this most majestical tool that I that I that I've met and I love like you have to love your voice and just be reminded like it's okay to sound off or sound bad or pitchy sometimes like that's part of evolving and part of the practice structure you know like and rome wasn't built in a day it was built in 10 that's not true either um lots of love okay bye <laughs>